So how are you doing? You having a good day so far? Without further ado, it's Zealand. Yeah, go Zealand. Oh. Admiral Fro, thank you for the 31 months, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream, MD Games. Thank you also, weirdly, for exactly 31 months. Uh, so many months, so little time, so much success looms. I know. Free, thank you for the 39 months. Fight on, you stalwart Ram team. On to goal. Tear the... Oh, come on. Tear the Cavaliers line asunder. Come on, Free. We got a Colorado State fan here? Absolutely not. Virginia all day. We are going to score 50 points and win tonight, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait. My team plays in a... Uh... Yeah, does the March Madness thing not work? What are we doing? It should work. I command thee to work. Uh, there it is. Oh, it's March. Oh, oops. Oh, that madness linked to it too. We'll just do March then. Exclamation point March. Boom. <coughs> Hey, Sarandos, thank you for the 26 months. Miramo, thank you for the 22 months. I appreciate you guys supporting the stream. Is March, not March Madness, exclamation point March. The play-in games, two of the four March Madness play-in games are tonight. My University of Virginia is playing in one of them against the Colorado State Rams, big Virginia dub. What's your March Madness bracket? Uh, we picked it. We picked it at the start of the stream yesterday. It was awesome. It is the first ever March Madness bracket that is 100% correct. They, they, yeah. They, it is the first ever. This is true. It's the first ever March Madness bracket that is actually 100% right. A 100% correct March Madness bracket has never been picked before. Did I pick Colgate to win it all? Unfortunately not. I do believe I picked him to win in the first round, though. I believe. <coughs> Virginia game seems boring. Give me Wagner versus Howard. Yes, the first game of March Madness, it's like they do the play-in games on Tuesday and Wednesday, is Wagner against Howard. Elite basketball game there, Wagner against Howard. Cannot wait. Do I think Colgate's the total package? It's also dentist recommended, so... True story. Who's my Cinderella? I've got St. Mary's in the Elite Eight. I've got James Madison in the Sweet 16. I think I also picked McNeese State to win in the first round. I have, I have a few upset picks. But, you know, I went I went through my bracket and made sure, made, made sure I lined them all up. Oregon in the Final Four is kind of crazy. I have uh, Purdue winning the whole thing. Sleeping on Washington. I have Washington State losing in the first round, so I really hope I'm not sleeping on Washington State. Hey, Mr. Broadcaster, what's your favorite color? Oh, it's changed over time. Usually like a nice deep blue, though. Am I affiliated with Singalo? Yeah, I am. Fancy, fancy you should be asking. I think there's an exclamation point command for that. The mods would know it. I would not. Bad, bad takes. Houston's winning it. I mean, now look, I think this is probably Houston. This is a, this is Houston's time, but I'm still playing FM 12. Is there any uh, point to update? If you don't care about the database updates, dude from FM 12. Yeah. Did FM 12 even have 3d? Fuck. Thank you so much for the prime dude. Thank you for the 16 months. Yeah, there's Singalo. I knew there was a command uh, to get you to the Singalo website. I think we have a code for it now. I don't know. I'd have to stalk myself on YouTube. Let me look. i just stalk myself on YouTube. Go to my channel. I mean, like, what was the last Singalo video that we did? I think it was... Um, 
Choose your like story videos. Was it like this video? Was this sing? Yeah, this was sing. No, was it? No. Uh, oh wait, was it Lone Fan? Dude, it was. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. We don't have a we don't have a code. I am affiliated with Singala though. They sponsor some of the stuff that we do. They're awesome that way. It has 3D, but I'm playing 2D. D, look, uh, even outside of the actual match engine, there are huge updates to the gameplay from the dynamic section to like, here, let me just show you around, right? You're playing FM12. You got a whole dynamic section, right? You've got a whole data hub if you're into that kind of thing, right? With just like incredible, I mean, I can like attackers, right? Uh, set piece attacking efficiency. We are the most efficient set piece team in the league. Attacking efficiency, we are godly. Team attacking, all, you know, god, like, oh, it's like a goalkeepers. Oh, do, 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 do. oh, I can do individual player stuff, so I've got a lot of these saved. So, like, that was just team stuff. Advanced goalkeeping, Guglielmo Vicario's got a pretty good save percentage, expected goals. Prevented is like sixth best in the league. <coughs> Nathan Baxter's the best goalkeeper in the league, apparently. Who even cares, man? So you got all that. You've got a bunch of new roles. I think tactics. This year, to me, tactics play so wonderfully. Like tactics and football manager play so wonderfully with an inverted fullback. Right? Oh, an inverted fullback is so nice. I'm not I'm obviously not using any weird roles but i have used them at other clubs that we have played at and they just make uh management so much more reactive and nice yes yeah, so if you were playing fm12 i i think buying fm every three years you get like a really massive update that being said based off what i know about fm25 and that they're putting the whole thing in the unity engine and the way they're talking about that transition i mean i, I i'm a big fan of never pre-ordering a game Wait until you watch somebody like me play it. But I have a feeling that almost everybody will want to buy FM25 because it looks like it's going to be a mi like a massive overhaul, you know? Like a really massive overhaul. So we're on a little bit of a roll right now. We're absolutely killing it. Jaeger Haas, thank you for the 23 months, dude. Thank you so much for the Prime. That is nearly two freaking years. U17 World Cup's going to make scouting real easy going forward. Yeah, that it happens every year. Looks like UVA with the colors. It is. This is a University of Virginia jersey. It is. And this is true. A Kyle Guy jersey. Hell yeah, dude. It's a Kyle Guy jersey. If you remember Kyle Guy, if you follow uh, college basketball. Jack Tranter, thank you for the five months. Great Katana, thank you for the gifted sub, dude. Still can't beat Aston Villa? No, dude, they're they're bothering me. Uh, well, well, they knocked us out in the League Cup semifinal. It was kind of ridiculous. A um, little absurd, if I may say so. But, yeah, we're coming off a 4-0 four four win at home against Manchester City, which was a pretty solid statement. A uh, pretty solid statement result. We were fortunate to win that 4 nothing. We played really, really well in front of goal. But hope you had a blast yesterday with your parents. I did. We walked and got some food before they flew out, and it was wonderful. Can't wait for Virginia to crush Texas. I think we. I think if we get to Texas, we beat him. Where's Kyle Guy playing these days? He's been like four or five years as like a deep bench player on like the Miami Heat. Uh, so he played in the NBA for a little while. Um, the dude's got kids. And, uh, you know, I, you get like half a million a year, I think, playing at the end of an NBA bench. And so I think he he's in Europe now getting a bag. I can't remember where he is, though. He's playing uh, in Panathinaikos in Greece, or he plays for Tenerife, apparently. We've got multiple options here. Tenerife. Soby, thank you for the five months. Have you heard about the FIFA Intercontinental Cup? Basically a replacement club World Cup, even though the real one still exists. No, I, I have not heard about that. Yeah. UVA is trash. Dude, UV, we, look. If you wanted to be in the tournament, don't lose as much. Right? You know what I'm saying? We 
also could have totally not been in the tournament. But the only reason we were on the bubble is because every game we lost, we lost by about 75. So <laughs> all of our match, all of our analytics are terrible, which is correct because we're not good. But that is because every close game we played, we won with the exception of NC State, the NCAA tournament, which was very unfortunate. And uh, every blowout, we lost. We lost every single game in a massive blowout. I feel terrible for Indiana State, obviously. Ryan Dunn has no bag. No, the dude's a first-round pick based off of defense alone, which is impressive. Very, very impressive. Uh, yeah. I, 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 Pitt, the, the issue for Pitt is that it's non-conference. Strength of schedule was just absolutely abysmal. Uh, and it didn't pit like the reason Virginia's in is we beat Florida and we beat Texas A&M in non-conference and we have zero bad losses, right? We, every loss we have is bad, but we have no bad losses. Every loss was in the first two quadrants. Virginia's the 69th team on Ken Palm honestly feels high. This is the worst Virginia team I've ever watched. But I will say they've gotten a lot better. <laughs> Casey McLean, excellent recommendation. Thank you for the seven months. Appreciate that. Appreciate the vibes behind that. Excellent vibes. Do we ever get to choose the new foreign affiliate for youth scouting? Yes, we chose Sochal in France, uh, which was an excellent choice. If you're able to win the Conference League, are you able to win the Eredivisie too? Weirdly, maybe not, because the Eredivisie usually has a Champions League knockout team that's like at the very top, whether that be PSV, Feyenoord, or Ajax these days. There's usually a team at that level hanging out at the top. So I wouldn't say 100%. You definitely would have a shot at it. All right, let's get into it, dude. Let's get into the weeds here. All right? We've got a uh we got a we got a beautiful matchup with Chelsea on the road. Absolutely gorgeous matchup. Easy game. It, it, I'm I'm actually scared. Shoes no. Thank you for the 26 months. <laughs> I appreciate you supporting the Steam. Treble, please. I, I'm working on it, Hotshot. Thank you for the 19 months. What do I think about the Greek teams in the Conference League? Can they win it? Pro I mean, look, the final's in Athens. I think if, if I think if a Greek team makes the final, they actually will win it. I believe I picked against both Greek teams in the quarterfinal, though. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't go so far as to say I am confident they will win it because I picked against literally both of them. But... All right, uh, I'm going to go uh, Aneka Romo and Jared Shikichi and Seka, Skoda, Basuma, Vandevin, who I sacrificed to the dogs there, made him play the rest of that match. Hato, Inacio, Rico Lewis, Eves, Basuma. And we actually get a week off after this. We get a legitimate, real week off. After this match day. That is amazing. It has not happened in literally months because we got all the way to the League Cup semifinal, which just eats up your planned weeks off. Chelsea away. They have Joel Martins, our former player at St. Etienne, who they just signed in January for $88 million. Hopefully St. Etienne's able to spin that bag well. Two left-footed center backs. It just doesn't feel right. Nice. Chelsea going down? No, they're not. We cannot disrespect them. We know they're a talented team, even though they're not, you know, in the top part of the table. So. <coughs> I have three aggressive players today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Found a Zimbabwean wonder kid at a club called Chicken Inn. That, I mean, that's awesome. 
Just going to go ahead and say that right now. That's awesome. Amoslera Music, thank you for the 30 months. Huh? Congrats on the album, dude. That's awesome. A life's work. That's for the album. Hopefully that sound effect made it in. All right, at Chelsea. First match of the stream. They've got Osiman up top. Sky Shadowing, thank you for the 15 months. What am I high? What's my highest ever views on stream? It, I mean, I think like 10. One time we did a stream, we had 15 people, and that was like really cool. Just join the bracket group, yes. Please, even if you have no idea what's going on, join the back of the bracket group. It's a lot of fun. We'll be able to keep track of it, keep up to date with what's going on. A lot, a lot of fun. This is exclamation point March, my homies. Chigichi. <laughs> Ref. Well, that's easy. That is exactly how I envisioned starting the stream today. I manifested this. Give me Javi Guerra from the penalty spot all day. Give me Javi Guerra from the penalty spot all freaking day, brother. Do I count bots as views? No, that's why I think most views I've ever had on Twitch is like 10. Because everybody, everybody here is bots. Goal! Dude, you know it feels like we're still in the dog days of the season? This match included, we only have 14 Premier League matches left this year. Literally only have 14 Premier League matches left. You know how crazy that is? Uh, yo. Uh, literally just perfect start. Absolute bull penalty goes in our favor. We score it. Well taken by Javi Guerra, who's only missed one all year. Very, very sound penalty taker. It's really us competing with uh with Newcastle, who we are nine points ahead of, but they do have a match in hand on us. Um, the big the win we just got over Manchester City really creates a huge barrier between us and them. We will have a match with United at some point. That we just let Vicario catch it, dude. Let's not have anything weird happen here. Googly Elmo. Me and my two left-footed center backs that drive people with OCD crazy. All part of the plan. Shigichi. Well done. Bellarmino Seca. Easy enough. It's an Echo Romo. Well worked. Well worked. Methodically worked there. Yes. We have no evidence that Z is a human. It's kind of just an assumption. I mean, what if I was just a really advanced AI that nobody had announced that they were working on yet? We also have a 2 0 lead in 19 minutes. Thanks to Gonzalo Inacio. That is beautifully done. Is Enric injured? No, he's just fatigued. We played City three days ago. He's on the bench. Have no fear. Enric is still around. A lack of gambage. Oh, no. JLab, you're all good. We all still love you. How much longer is Kaya out for? A week. Uh, so he'll probably have to fully sit out like one more match. Fortunately, a week being out hurt is no longer as big of a problem because we have made our way out of January and December, the absolute nightmare period in the Prem. We are very okay now. As in the Endrick? No, I just made my own to make myself feel better. All right, game on. Chelsea has brought one back here. 
A well-constructed attack. Well done by Basuma. Keep order. That was a really well constructed play. I was trying to think about what changes we could make to try and stop something like that, but I, um, I mean, really, if we tight mark him there, we're still drawing my fullback out of position, and that opens Mudrick up to go like wide. Anyways, the way the way that he just did. I mean, I hate the fact that that hit the post. The fact that the goalkeeper wasn't moving was a good sign that it wasn't on target. So thank you, football manager, for that. But definitely a little weird. Vibes are weird on that one. Oh, Christian, you've had an excellent morning. You watched the latest live channel episode and then just jumped right in here. Well, and then watched the uh, Zealandism. So much Zealand stuff coming out these days, you know? Zealand's just all over the place. He's here. He's there. He's over here. He's there. He's over here. And then he's there. And then he's over here. And then he's there. And then he's... <laughs> the Zealand verse is multiplying! Watch the entire series while sick the last couple of days. Dude, that's, that's awesome. Hopefully you're feeling better. No, don't dive in, Jarrell. I spent 100 million on you. Why are you diving? What match day is this? Match day 25. And uh, I'm really unhappy with the way we've played for the last 15 minutes, so. Oh, uh, please be our highlight. Bellarmino, Seca. Roll Rico. Oh, Rico! Uh, we, we, we didn't deserve that. We've now played super well. Uh, we have a goal off a penalty in a corner. Which, like, I know our set pieces are great, but I, um... Don't think the job is done. We gotta remain focused. I mean, like, an Echo Romo's gonna friggin' 6.4 here. I'm gonna do something unusual. I'm really not liking the way we're playing. I'm going to go ahead and shift us into this uh, formation, like, right now. And just lower the tempo and try and increase our control of the match and just play with the fact that we've got those two wings that we like. Um, but I really hated the way we played that last 30 minutes. I want us to kind of get more control over this game, be a little more possession-oriented, uh, not give them as many as many glorious chances because they probably should be at least tied in this game so i'm going to utilize the fact that we've been lucky All right i'm going to utilize our luck and try and control this second half if we get a goal great but i don't want to give them anything says the man that immediately concedes a highlight and another one let's go dude you know what's better than one highlight two highlights dude let's go all oh, both those throw-ins, so I don't even have tactical takeaways from that. Because both of the highlights are just from throw-ins. Nice header. It's a good save by Vicario on the angle. Thank you. This is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. All right, we have not had a good performance from our boy out there today. So I'm going to go Shikichi, who's going to move sides because he's been good recently. And then we've got Endrick. You guys were worried. There he is. Okay, so we've got those two dudes. We've got uh, the fresh legs of Giannis Constantelius. Or actually, let's just go Javi Guerra and Jenny Zredjevic. Uh, we'll go Javi Guerra. Okay.
Okay, we're gonna have to turn the oof meter up on that one. Holy to- That was really good, dude. That's an A. That was really good. Absolute zinger. Thank you for the $5, Lavinio. Very well done. Schuber, thank you for the 20 months. What is the Messiah of capitalism called? Profit. That's also really good. That's a B plus. Thank you for the 20 months, Schuber. Thank you for supporting the stream. Will, thank you for the two months. Slay. Yes. Thank you for the three months. Sky Shadowing, thank you for the 15 months as well. That is a long freaking time. Need to get these subs in, get fresh legs out there. Be able to put them under pressure. Oh, here we go. This should be fun. Shigichi. Oh, dude, make the run. That pass was perfect. Make the ever-loving run. Oh, that's mine. Oh, that nearly went in. Okay, that's apparently the highlight. Awesome. So, Yves Basuma needs to be subbed out. I'll do that. I'll get... Um, Marcelo Enrique, actually. Eve's apparently nervous as well, so. Marcelo is a natural anchor man. He was born for this. Uh, we need fresh legs in the midfield, so I'm going to go Yanis Constantelius to uh, play the ball. All right, get this out of here, dudes. Get this ball out of here. Okay, good save, good clear. And we had an offside in there. Good first save, though. That first shot was not off. Come on now. Come on now. Viper, thank you for the four months, brother. I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting the stream. Is Kane still playing? Bring him back. I do not believe in 2031 that Harry Kane is still out there, uh, out there balling. That would be pretty wild. Maybe. Like, right at the end of his career. I go, like, pull him out of the Indian Super League or something. But like, hey, Harry. Dude, we had two defenders there. Either one of you could have handled that. Now we're out of position. They just wasted it. And they were offside. But seriously, either one of you guys, you're both talented. Oh, my goodness, Giannis. Thank you, Marcelo Enrique. Can we not? What's our tempo on? What is our tempo on? Not my tempo. You friggin' stop it. Goodness gracious. I have to a turn freaking counter off so that you don't just run into the other team the moment you get the ball. Come on. Stop! Stop! When we have the ball, just stop with the ball, man. This is getting ridiculous. Blindside, thank you for the four months. I'm the one being blindsided right now, but thank you for the uh, support in the stream, dude. Sean War, thank you for 32 months. God. Uh. All right, we got uh, tired dudes around. I'm going to get Macintosh. Just fresh legs. That dude's got... He's a burner, too. Let's take all we can get. We have not been the better team in this game. We're trying to steal it right now. Chelsea's put together a really good performance. We need to possess the ever-loving ball, please. Like, what are we... Okay, I'm going to add that in as well. Stop. They are not pressing us well enough. We are just giving them the ball back because we're trying to force it up the field. So please stop doing that. That's what I'm trying to get us to stop doing. And why are we not playing it short? I have it specifically set to distribute the ball short because they're not pressing that hard. Spreckensy English. Is that like part of full time wasting? Like I've really never seen a goal kick taken off on in, in, in full time wasting. Is that part of it? Play like you're afraid of your own shadow. 
I, it must be because we're just launching the ball. That's literally the third time. In that case, I don't like, oh my goodness, I don't like full-time wasting as much. If that's something that's mandated on full-time wasting, that we have to just launch the ball. Okay, whatever. That's not a bad foul. I also have play out of defense is still on. We're just blasting the ball. And are we good? He's hurt, ref. I think we should stop the game. Nice, McIntosh. Still don't know why we're doing this. Oh, all right. All right. There you go. All the time in the world, dude. All the time in the world. We do not deserve these three points. We are trying to steal them today. Take all the time you need, dude. Skull Ray, thank you for the 28 months. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Happy to see uh, UVA's Cavs make the tournament. Uh, you're, yeah, thank you. I, what's Izzo's streak on now? Because Tony's is over. We had like 11 straight years, but that ended two years ago. And then we snuck in this time. <sighs> that way, we hung on to that. We hung on to that game. We had a penalty in a corner early, and then we got outplayed the rest of the game, and we just hung on. We made it ugly in the second half. Three points is three points. At this point of the season, 13 matches left. Three points is three points. Newcastle avoids disaster with a win over Blackburn, who's bottom of the table. Um, City lost to Villa. Arsenal picked up a win. Uh, United's the only other team that's, I, I suppose, anywhere near us. We're 11 points clear with a match in hand on them. So it looks like us and uh looks like us in Newcastle. All right. I'm gonna rest him for a week, but we're we're in a good spot. We got Southampton. We finally get a week off. We have gutted our way through another, you know, an incredibly long bout of fixture. When was my last week off that wasn't an international break? I couldn't even tell you. Such is life in England, you know. No, no. I mean, we had five days between, er, sorry, 18th, 19th, 20th, 23rd. We had four days between Brad, uh, Bradford City and Brentford. Not a full week. Last full week I had off was I think it was No, the Brentford match. It was after the Brentford match. Early October. Only October. Uh, not, that, not, not that it matters much. Watching Kurt uh, 0411 in your latest video was amazing. He's a character. Yeah, he, he is. He's a wild man. He's fun to watch. A guy gets into it in the same way that, you know, I get into it when I'm playing FM. It, it, it's great. I respect the hell out of that man. I respect the hell out of his game, you know. Have you seen his reaction? Your reaction? I did see it. Some. Oh, they wait. Saint Etienne fired their coach. Oh no. Oh, they're only in eleventh. I thought they were like going to be actually in danger. They're fine. They're yeah. They're a little bit out of the European spots, obviously, but. They have fired Patrick Kisnorbo. Liverpool's won again. They're staying in European places this year, it looks like. Nottingham Forest trying to pull its way out of the relegation zone with a big win over fellow relegation favorites, Brighton. Give me a reason. Wait, Arthur Ray, the French legend, is live. Give me a reason to watch, see? When was the last time you saw Tottenham on the verge of winning a treble? Kurt's a born showman, yeah. I mean, he did do like a uh, he did he did do like a full react video to me, like to the video where he was in it. Kurt reacts to Zealand watching him play football manager. I I, I watched like a part of it. He's very funny. 
So now we've got- we, oh, dude, this guy's upset at us. What's up, chat? What's up, one of the bottle? How you doing? Now I have to react to his reaction. Yeah, but I mean, like, where would it end, though? If I react to his reaction, would it ever end? It's not his channel, though. Yeah, it's like one of those, like, it's Eclipse channel. Uh, Frederick Hansing and you talk him out of it. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to happen. I, he's indignant. I need the playing time I was promised. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Impact Sub over here, Hector Gamera. Literally an endless content farm. True. We just react to each other forever. He got upset because no, I I know I I I got I watched about half of it. Just somebody sent it to me, and um, <clears throat> yeah, he like was he was very you know the game we watched was not a great game for for him and his own sanity. Uh, a lot of soccer to be played this season. Get patient, you'll get the playing time you want. No, he won't. I think we've established at this point that Hector Gamera is not going to get the playing time he wants. Unfortunately, a real shame because I do think he's a solid player. He's done some pretty amazing things for us. He just, um, he's also our only club grown player, you know, came in uh, at a very young age from River Plate and has failed to make a serious dent in the first team. Can I do a loan promise? Would that be good? We just do a loan promise at the end of the season? Uh. TTS just murdered you there. Because what he was supposed to say is broke. Which is funny. And I'm going to go with a B minus. TTS murdered that one. It was way better. How did Louis XIV feel after completing the Palace of Versailles? Baroque. It's better than you think it is. Uh, I wonder what I'm supposed to do with Gamera here. I'll try a... Well, I, will I try a playing time promise? I will. I don't want any discord as we come down towards the end of the season. His playing time expectations not crazy. It's impact sub. We might be able to meet it by just starting him in a few matches. I'm settling on playing time promise. Thank you very much. Sir Felipe, thank you for the four months on the prime, brother. Thank you. Appreciate you supporting the stream, man. Do, 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 do. Loris is an interim for St. Etienne. The Tottenham St. Etienne connection continues. Are you streaming tomorrow, right, uh, instead of Thursday or Friday? Yes, I am streaming tomorrow. I'm going to put that in the schedule update section. At least I'm planning on putting that in the schedule update section, just in case I forget. Uh, there is a stream tomorrow. We are streaming tomorrow. Hell yeah. And then uh, there will maybe be a stream Friday morning. kind of depends. I'm going to feel that out. Because we're closing on the end of the season, and if it's going to be like a big dramatic, like, I, I don't exactly know how the end of the season is going to be, but we might just tee it up on Monday and be like, we're just going to have a beast of a stream on Monday, you know, like that sort of vibe. So we will, uh, we will see. 
But there's definitely going to be a stream tomorrow. Yes. So I got a new scout. I got another new scout. I got another new... Oh, that's Coach. Ramon Tejada. That's Florian Zahn. And there's another scout. So we just paid for the acquisition of five more scouts in the Tottenham Scouting Department. And Salwan Asio picked up a tight thigh. Soft! Dude, just stretch. What's the problem? Are there any good Tottenham club grown players still alive? I mean, sure, somewhere, yeah. Oh, wow. We have. Oh, this is just an update from my. Uh, Shortlist and stuff. Villarreal, Adriano, George Tapia. I mean, that's some very, very good pace, but we're not seeing a lot of the development here that you'd probably be open for. Mohamed Mejayed. Don't like relying on guys that need that much improvement uh, for obvious reasons. Okay, so maybe there's a few guys that I've been hanging on to because of their athletic ability that aren't actually that good. Fair enough. Was this song in a FIFA? Everybody's favorite game to play. What was this song in a FIFA? <laughs> I think it was. It, it's striking that, like, ethereal chord in the back of my brain somewhere where it's like, yes, you've heard this song three million times. Yes, FIFA 14. Okay. Most important attributes for players. I mean, like, in football manager, right, you can be good at different collections of things and still be effective. Physical ability is the most important, especially the most important to not be terrible at. But, there is, you know, everybody is always looking for meta. I, I don't think that there is, like, a bona fide meta in FM. Uh, in terms of, like, I'm just going to build a team of guys with these attributes. I think FM Arena has done the best work to find out that, you know, if you have really world-class pace and you're decent at everything else but not, you know, like, if let's say you have world-class pace and balance and agility, but you are below Premier League level, you know, not way below, but below Premier League level at, like, touch and passing and scoring, you would still be an amazing player. Right, you're still like that's still going to be a world class player. So athletic ability is the most important, but you can be, you know, successful building a team without anybody that has over 16 pace. Even even in the Premier League, Dorsey, thank you for the eight months. It's the history of Tottenham, yeah. Except it's not. We're totally changing it. Eccentricity is the most the most important attribute, baby. Long throws. As long as you get a team with good long throws, you're always gonna have that set piece option, you know? You're gonna be a problem. Impossible to deal with. Uncontainable. Uh, na, 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 na. No. I mean, yeah, I have a lot of bad young players on my scouting report, like or on my short list, just because I'm afraid that they're going to have that sort of potential that's like hidden. And I'm like, oh no. If their current ability looks good for their age, I'm basically just going to keep them on my short list until their current ability doesn't look good for their age anymore. And then I'm going to let them go. Like Shinji Koga, very, very good goal scorer. Okay, well, you know, we're at least going to give them a chance. Buziane. Okay, just. 
No, that dude would never play for us. That dude would never play for us. I know that he would, like, if we were hanging out at St. Etienne, that guy would have a job to do, but he's got no job to do right here. Stuff. Now that I know all that stuff about potential ability... I feel like my my worldview has changed when I'm looking at the young guys that come through on this shortlist stuff. Now Jean Martins is being removed from stuff. Jean Martins is hanging out on Chelsea. 14 caps for the Portuguese national team for that kid. Goodness gracious. Yeah, you need a striker with good long throws so he can throw it into the goal. Dude, I couldn't have worded it any better. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, yes. You need a striker with good long throws so he can just chuck it into the goal. Defender with good long throws so he can throw it away from the goal. Um, all, all of that stuff. Very important. Do, 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 do. Well, okay. I didn't look at the draw for the Champions League, but we've got Atalanta Sociedad, Ajax Lens, United just beat Dortmund 5-0, and Real Madrid just beat uh, Olympiacos 4-1. We also have Milan against Basel, City against Leverkusen, Porto against Stad, Rene Juventus against Le... Dude, us, us being the seeded team in the round of 16 isn't going to matter at all. It's literally going to be like United, Real Madrid, Milan, City, Porto, Juventus, Atalanta, Sociedad, and Ajax. Like, all right. Newcastle and Liverpool just drew, which is huge for us. That means we are eight points clear at the top of the table right now. That is massive. We also have the match coming up against Newcastle. That is, uh, you know, our final match against Newcastle. If we win that, we could go 11 clear no matter what happens. We we're going to have to win the match that we're we've got coming up right now, but that is on the table for Tottenham today. A team full of 20 flair would just break into a dance routine mid counterattack. They just backheel it five times. If they had bad attributes, they'd just be backheeling it to the other team. But damn, they would look good. And we love that for them. We support them in their endeavor. All right, we got another scout and two more coaches. As we expanded the amount of staff that we could have, I bullied Daniel Levy into giving me all the resources. What did we learn about potential? I made a whole video about it. I, so... You know, check that out for the whole deep dive. But the old 411, the TLDR, is that potential is that like the stars for potential can be wildly wrong and are pretty consistently wrong. There are, a, at best, a rough indicator of what the potential of a player is. I want to celebrate. All right, so this is the day after the match. So Ingley and McAvoy and Belky or Canelio playing in that match is totally fine. Awesome. We should be able to roll our full first team for both of these matches with the three days off. <sighs> Mujahid Kaya has resumed full training, so our $89 million star striker who picked us over Bayern Munich because we're awesome. He's vibing. No, it's realistic. Is UVA winning tonight? Let me be clear. UVA is freaking winning tonight. Okay. UVA is winning tonight. Let me be clear. Let me be so clear right now. UVA is freaking winning tonight. What is UVA? Uh, it means grapes in Spanish. Uva. It's pronounced uva, by the way. Sorry, I can't help myself. F minus. Come on. 
Are Longwood still in? Yeah, dude. Uh, so the actual tournament doesn't start until Thursday. There are just two play-in games on Tuesday and Wednesday. So you still have a couple of days to fill out your bracket, you know. Oh, Kazu Kanda's back. Did Japan win? Yes, Japan did win. Oh, they beat Uzbekistan in the final. The horror. Oh, Uzbekistan. Japan destroyed South Korea and Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan beat Indonesia, beat Australia, and lost the final. Oh, it was 2-2 in the second half. What a comeback by the White Wolves of Uzbekistan. But Japan are consecutive Asian champions, having beaten the Uzbeks who made their first ever Asian Cup final. Honestly, very happy for King Kazu Kanda, but it also sucks. Or sucks for the boys. The boys from the stands. Uh, what is Constantelius' value? I'm not buying that at all. That he's somehow worth... How much should we pay for him? $24 million. He's worth so much more than that. People are interested. All that he had once, Giannis Constantelius. Give me a hundred million and he's yours right now. Nothing for old Belchior. Okay. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Vicario, Rico, Jarrell Hado, Inacio, Vandevin, Guerra, Basuma, Endrick, Seca. I am going to start Marcel Enrique here. Hell freaking yeah brother okay nearly two years fm wonder kids thank you for supporting the stream for nearly two years dude i mean that god or thank you for the prime welcome to the hammers enjoy the bacon enjoy the emotes i'll see you in the subsection of the discord Gomera to start? Nah. Southampton's 10th in the league. I'm not buying that. Skoda got a week off. He can play. Actually, you know what, you mad lad? I'm totally going to do that because we want, if Skoda does pick up a fatigue issue, don't want to get smacked by that later. I'm going to get Doeg off. And then we'll go Skoda at the strike spot. Okay. I actually love that. We're just going to run Hector Gamera. Best role, ball-winning midfielder. Hard disagree. He's playing striker. He wants more playing time? Go prove that you deserve it, dude. Go bag a goal. Because I am still short of Mushait Kaya. Want to make sure that he's able to get himself all the way back. At home against Southampton. Uh, stick to the plan and be patient. A lot of pressure on each one of these matches now. Stick to the plan. Be patient and execute. Good shout, chat. We're starting Gamera. Kieran Deer, thank you for the 34 months. Oh, dude, that joke. Oh, God. B+. Plus. I'm changing jobs and becoming a mirror salesman. It's a career I can really see myself in. Yeah, all right. Big kiss, Mr. Z. Thank you, Mize. I appreciate the 31 months. Thanks for the prime and spent a $5. You've spent a lot of Jeff Bezos' money at this point. Well done. Is that our Toure? You mean Sedu Toure? Unlikely. No, that's El Bilal of the Toure clan. Nah, that's not my Toure, is it? Ah, dang it. <laughs> How did my Toure get out again? I mean, when you manage in France, you manage, like, at least five. It's like the Smith of West Africa. <laughs> Come on. Volley it! Oh, Bellarmino, best midfielder in the world. What's up, Michael? How you doing, dude? Oh, we got a gifted sub, the gummy? Son of a quiche. 
Thank you for gifting us up, dude. Thanks for supporting the stream with kindness. Here's a not a goal for you, I thought, maybe. Out. thank you for the three months. Big love. Enjoy your cooked bacon. It's all bronzed now. Okay, we misplayed that defensively, didn't we? Do we want to talk about it? Do we want to just do a little encourage shout and move on? All right. Continuing. Oh, thank you for continuing your gifted sub, not gifting another sub. Both awesome. You were just being kind to yourself, which is also very kind. Alec, thank you for the 11 months of the prime, brother. Okay, Rico. Oh, and Drick. Fiddlesticks. Take him. Take this fool. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Rico Lewis has walked it in. The Tottenham captain in 16 minutes. Do not sleep on the fullback on support, chat. Do not sleep on the fullback on support. Captain Rico leading the boys. Also, son of a quiche actually gifted a sub now. They, I'm sorry if, uh, for accusing you of gifting a sub, son of a quiche. Thank you, thank you for gifting a sub after you continuing your own. Oh, Indrick, that was nearly sick. Let's stay on it, boys. Good energy. Let's stay on it. Oh. Hendrick, Bellarmino Seca. Got to step up. They got to step up to the praise. Fair enough, dude. You earned that. Have ever seen Sir Alex Ferguson being a member of the German club Eintracht Frankfurt? I did. I did see that, which is awesome. Rico, Bellarmino. Dang it, Bellarmino. Oh, what a glorious chance that was. Dude, 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 dude. Uh, all right, Vandevin. Vandevin looking towards Gamera, perhaps. Seca, nice. Shigichi. One more. I got you, dude. Thank you for the 11 months, Dirty South. That is an amazing double. Santos in the Avoria national team. That sounds like a, a really good time. And if Chester, thank you for the 44 months. Yes, I heard Star Wars Battlefront was a huge failure. But you're not. Thank you for being a part of the Hammers for a long time. Wow, he was offside and Joel Hato still got there and blocked the shot. That is elite. We need to stay on it, though. We need to, we need to stay aggressive going into the half. I'd love to get a second goal. 74% of the ball should be able to find a way to put this in the back of the net somewhere. Uh. We need an update on Cabela Mocoena. As far as I know, he's still at St. Etienne. I think I have him on my short list, and so we get updates about him every few months. But uh, da, 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 Cabela Mocoena, he's, he's doing great. Zalewski. <coughs> oh lord oh give me that Gera. no my god what thank goodness that guy decided to shoot that right away because what just happened what are we doing I have a player who has 15 stamina who never is able to see out a match so there's a really important factor in this pretty good hit there by Gera. And that is a work rate. So work rate affects how much they run. So that dude's work rate's probably really high. And you're also probably playing him in an incredibly intense position. A fullback on attack. A, you know, a center mid on attack. Somebody that's going to have to run a ton.
Dude, that is an excellent copy pasta. Holy smokes. I love that. Uh, focus on the possession. Second half. Let's go. Yeah, so really high intensity positions. Like, you'll notice how a lot of matches I sub my fullbacks off. Because this is a really high intensity position. Where you're not able to be fresh, but like less often do I sub out my in, in certain players, like Bellarmino Seca gets tired all the time. It's not like you like he has 17 stamina. Uh, but honestly, I feel like you just learn which players get tired quickly and which ones don't. And it's something to do with your system, and it's also something to do with the attributes. Natural fitness affects, like, recovery time. So, like, with uh, Bellarmino Seca... Oh, no, you idiot. What are we doing? I, what the fuck? Like, why, dude? Why? I can never trust you, dude. That Like, that's why I cannot trust you. You know that, right? All right, which one of you guys do I want to get? All right, we're going to get Gamera, who's dropped the generational stinker for Simone Skoda. Um, okay, so you got that. Good deal. Skoda's coming in for Gamera so that we have somebody we can play off of on the front line more. We're going to move Seca back, try and play in a more possession style. Marcelo Enrique just deciding to make this match against Southampton interesting. I had no reason to do it. No reason at all to make this spicy, but we've, we've decided to make it spicy. Brabrarian, thank you for the 16 months. Please, please. Oh, I thought that was in. Oh, I don't even know what happened, but I thought the ball was in. We've gotten a lot of straight red cards this year. It has been an unusually... Si I play with Get Stuck In on all the time, and it has been an unusually significant problem this year with this team. We've gotten at least four straight reds. Come on, Vandevin. There you go. Good carry. Oh, Shikichi, you beast. Yes, that helps waste time, obviously. Opinion on Scotland's chance at the Euros? I mean, decent shot. Not to win the whole thing, but, like, get out of the group stage, make some noise. Scotland's very clearly at a high water mark. I think Scotland misses the top. You know, Scotland's got, like, a puncher's chance. That is a very important second goal for us to grab there. That is a very important second goal from Hendrick. Let me take a look at maybe some potentially tired guys. George Shikichi, we can get McIntosh in. He'll do basically the same job, get that ball, carry it. Endrick's not even playing in the right freaking role in this tactic. Um, uh, we'll go advanced playmaker, and then we'll bring in Eves Basuma for a steady defensive presence. Maybe one of the fullbacks, like a Rico Lewis for KO Day. All right, come on, guys. I trust you to help uh, help see this out. That's a big second goal by Hendrick there. Kobe Mainu getting called up by England is just logic. The guy's showing flashes of potentially being a really special player. You don't know if he's ever going to make that a consistent thing or not, but he's clear, his development is going like this right now, and him being able to get into the English national team shows, you know, can, can further that trajectory. It's a lot. It's the very logical thing to do. Excellent, logically like logical thing to do. All right, Skoda, McIntosh. Come on, Polly. Just jolt right by him. Cre create the separation. Whip the ball in. It's not bad from Basuma though. Best Chevelle, thank you for the prime. 
Thank you for your support in the stream, dude. Javi Guerra. Whoa. Inacio. Hendrick. Did I see United against Liverpool? No, dude, I was running a half marathon literally while that was going on. But don't worry, I, I know all about the lore of Anthony's right foot. Okay. The I the horrible luck that befell Liverpool there. But hey, United's got Coventry City in the semifinal. David and Goliath, you know. A tale as old as the parchment paper. My Eves, there you go. Keep it moving. KO Day. KO Day. What's up, KO Day? Anthony is love. Anthony is life. Guy's got two goals in like a year and a half. She's very clearly not, and it, it, it just very clearly not a good signing. I don't know. He was at the time, too. Mana, to your credit, thank you for the 16 months. Oh, wait, that means Newcastle's playing tomorrow as well. Ignacio fitness concern? God. Gonzalo, you're coming off a week off, dude. I'm going to send him on vacation. We'll just not play him. You're literally coming off a week off, though. Amazing. Actually, can we get him through this match and then send him on vacation and then he'd be able to play against Brighton? Yes. So we're just going to rest him. And we're going to try and get him to this match. A little annoying, though, I, that, that he is somehow somebody that is suffering from a fatigue concern after we just had our first week off since October. And now we have a fatigue concern. And now we have a fatigue concern. The antidote for that is supposed to be what we just did. Very glad, very, very glad, very thankful we won that game because that was potentially very dicey getting a red card up 1 0 with like 40 minutes left. Just got to keep putting the wins up. Keep putting the wins up. Make it very, very difficult for these guys to catch up to us. What's my opinion on Gilkerish? I mean, my opinion on him is not different than anybody else. I think he's a really good player. You know, you know, like I, I, I don't have like a hot take where I'm like, oh, that dude's not going to cut it. Some big team's going to come in and buy him. I think he's going to be good. I am impressed by what he's doing. Did Newcastle play? No, I, we have a match in hand on them right now. Or they have a, sorry, they have a match in hand on us. Do, 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 do. Well, we just moved a few guys from the youth team to the senior team, and I just saw some names like Hisham Eastman that I haven't seen since we played that one match with, like, my entire team on international duty that we managed to win in penalties, only to lose in the League Cup semifinal anyways. Heartbreaking. All of those guys would have gotten uh, medals. Thoughts on me? I don't know, dude. That uh, snowflake thing you got next to your name kind of triggering me a little bit. But, you know, the name Rod Black, it's a pretty strong name. 
Thoughts on thinking? Overrated, dude. Do you see our? Uh, did you see Arda Galera staying at uh, Real Madrid? Yeah, I do. They love him there with good reason. He's 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 one of those players where when you watch him for a little bit, you're just like, yeah, that kid's got the it factor. He he definitely has the it factor. I just hope he can stay healthy. Because the one thing that could really derail that, I think, is just when a player like that just decides to get hurt all the time. You know, they when they when they make the conscious decision to just be injured, like. I just feel like that's a really stupid move on their part. But if he can avoid that, if he can avoid the temptation of being uh, being drawn into being injured, he'll be fine. And I think he'll stay at Real Madrid and he'll find a home there. Well, that's a very, very good goalkeeper. At 19 years old at Newcastle Jets in Australia. Very balanced. So that means that potential is probably legit. Uh, dude can fly. <coughs> ah, glorious. Who thinks nowadays? Dude, so true. Sometimes I don't trust United. You should never trust this United. The United of this year, you can't trust to win uh, any match against any particular opponent, and that's got to be really encouraging if you're Coventry. You'd be like, hey, if we play our best game. They could leave the door open for us. This is not, you know, it is far from an impossible task. Chelsea has gutted it out from behind against Blackburn, the worst team in the league, to get to 10th. That is where Chelsea lives, man. They're vibing in 10th right now with a massive comeback win. So this is the match that may just decide the league, chat. I, I realize we are sitting at a point where there are... Oh, Newcastle did play and they drew. Oh, my goodness. They drew, uh, they drew Man United. Okay, they have a very tough run going. Liverpool, Man United, and us in a week. They've drawn the first two, and now they are at home against us. But on the run-in, they, they only have Chelsea and Arsenal left. After this, I do have United and Arsenal, and that's it for the big seven for me as well. So as we don't have too different of a run-in in that sense, but we are 10 points clear. If we win this, we are 13 points clear at the top of the table with 11 matches left. I don't want to say anything that could potentially get me in trouble, but that would be pretty freaking good, chat. We took this team over when it was in 11th last season after they'd fired the 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 star manager, Zinedine Zidane, which I, I don't even know how they managed to convince him to come here and manage the team in the first place. Uh, but we took it over in that situation last year, and we have ripped the team out of the ground by the roots. And we've replanted the field. And we are reaping the harvest right now. I guess I'm just going to stay dedicated to that uh, to that metaphor. Married to the game. But we, we have done something pretty spectacular here. We have an opportunity to send how spectacular it is into complete overdrive. Away against the unbelievably highly paid Newcastle team. Like a really terrifyingly well paid Newcastle team. Their most their highest paid players making like a million a week. Or like I think it's like eight hundred and fifty thousand a week, sorry. It's um Tanali. Making absolutely silly money. Thirty three million per year is what it is when you look at it. The way I have the game set up. Alan Sino, No. <sighs> so United's through. Uh, Real Madrid beat Olympiacos 11-1. So I think they're through. Uh, United beat Dortmund 7-0 on aggregate. So I think they're through. But Anthony got sent off in the 90th minute while up 7-0 on aggregate. So that's very on brand. City just lost to Leverkusen 2-0. And Milan just drew Basel 1-1. 
So some weird things might be happening there. We're already through to the round of 16 in the Champions League because we finished in the top eight in the table. So we're really hoping we don't get Real Madrid or Manchester United because they seem to be buzzsawing right now and they'll be in the unseated pile and we are going to be in the seated pile. But, you know, glad that all, all these other teams are distracted by all that nonsense while we're just here chilling, getting our week off and doing our thing. You know what it is? You know what it'd be? <sighs> Gaia was on $54 million a year in my first season. Hopefully in Saudi. If you're on $54 million a year and you're not playing in Saudi Arabia, you're about to ruin the FFP or whatever team you're on. You're about, you're about to destroy the FFP of whatever team you're on. Charlie Ward is 36 to 44 million. That is a lot of money, but he is also very fast and very English. If Coyote moves, I could see me wanting this Charlie Ward character. Or Mario Hilla. Can, yep, see, my scouts now have a better opinion of him. He's a C plus. I agree with that rating. I didn't agree with your E or F or whatever it was last time. C plus. Thank you for the year. How long are you planning to stay at Spurs? I have no idea, dude. I'm trying to win the treble this year. If we do that, we will have completed like one of the fastest ascensions from no badges or playing experience to like the absolute top of the game ever. We're all in on trying to get it done this year. But I mean, there are a few like Real Madrid or whatever, those types of jobs that if they came open, I could be tempted. But I'm loving what we've built right here. We've built quite the team right here. So Mujahid Kaya is back. He's cleared for 75 minutes of action. He's not entirely not match sharp. Gonzalo Inacio is ready to go. Maybe the fatigue issues partially from that tight thigh that he was attempting to overcome in the last match. All right, chat. I need... Uh, I mean... This is the match. And make sure you have the right team together here. A six-pointer at the top of the league with 10 matches to go. Miller, thank you for the six months, dude. I appreciate you. Congrats to the silver bacon. <laughs> it is Spurs. We are Spurs, and this is what we can freaking do, dude.
All right, lineup. Googly Elmo Vicario, Rico Lewis, Jarrell Hato, Gonzalo Inacio, Mickey Vandevin, Javi Guerra, Eves Basuma, Indrick, Bellarmino Seca, George Chigichi, Simone Scotta. Tactic. Aggressive as hell. It's showtime, baby. Bring it showtime. Probably the biggest match in the modern history of Tottenham, certainly in England. Captain Rico Lewis leading the boys out of the tunnel against former Tottenham manager Zinedine Zidane in Newcastle. One of the bi the most expensive team in the world. Boys! We can get one hand on it today. We can get one hand on it today. Let's get that hand on the trophy. Shigichi. I love the aggression. I love the aggressiveness. Yes. I love the aggressiveness. Okay. Uh, all right. We do, I just want to, you know, want to play a good game. They got the, they're putting the pressure on. We have the quality to play through this. A little lack of composure there. Sergio Luis is arguably the best striker in the world. So we, um, this is why we spent 116 million on Jarrell Hato. That is not a great start. He's not the one that actually played. It was cool as Zemski, dude. No way. We just sold him to Newcastle for 100 million. And he's the one he's the one that dropped it in on a dime to Robert. And it was Rico Lewis that lost the battle at the back post. Pretty even game. Uh, we've got a lot of the ball right now, which is great. We want to keep it away from Sergio uh, Luis. Man, how do we have no highlights? It looks like their second highlight. We've had 66% of the ball, a lot of the momentum graph. That that's not a concerning highlight, but we've been in uh, we've been in a really good spot statistically. We're just not creating anything. So I'm gonna go up to attacking here. Like the heat map is fantastic. We're living in the the ball is living in their half of the field. It's in our half of the field. Very likely we're possessing it. That's okay. Sergio Luis is the guy that picked Newcastle over us uh, right when we got to Tottenham. And we found this amazing young player, and they picked Newcastle. Okay, obviously, got some frustrated players out there. I'm going to make a halftime change. Mujahid Kaya is just better than Simone Scudda. He's finally back from his injury. We're going to give him a shot here. Uh, we've got a couple of options from Kazu to uh, Yanis to play that right side, or we can move George over and bring in McIntosh. Hendrick not doing well. Mm. 
Nice, dude. Congrats. I know you have the ability, Mickey. I need to see it. I don't need these nerves. So we're bringing Mujahid Kaya in. We believe Mujahid Kaya can make a huge difference for us. And Shinri, congratulations. Thank you for the $5. Come on! And we are on key highlights. I know that felt like, or we are on extended. I know that felt like key because nothing was going on, but that's just because nothing was going on. Uh, so, unfortunately, we're down one nothing. obviously. We couldn't defend, like, the one dangerous cross they've gotten, but uh, we, need, we, we need to create a lot more if we want to actually accomplish our goal in this match, which is to have a 45 minutes that can put one hand on a league title. Don't know why that save was so dramatic, but I'm glad he saved it. All right, we're gonna be look. Uh, we're gonna look to be aggressive and make some changes if we aren't getting highlights early in this half. But we are now on a highlight early in this half. We've not had a highlight in this game. They've had three, I think. Only one of them really threatened. Rico, there we go. There we go. Oh, I don't like. Oh, I, I do like it. Yes. It's George Shakiti! The Hammer has scored for Tottenham! The hundred million dollar man! Known for his counter-pressing abilities as much as his dribbling, scores the crucial goal for Tottenham. No, oh, that's a goal. That's just. Frustrating, obviously, because again, that's not tactical. That's just the throw in. Uh, and we didn't, you know, we defend, we, we stood in a line of three and let one guy go that way and one guy go that way. And we didn't pick up either of them. Okay, so we're bringing in McIntosh, moving George. Zendrick not been on its game. Uh, we're dropping Javi Garrett. We're, Mickey Vandevin's been nervous and shaky. I like Doeg. We're bringing him in. Garrett's coming off for Janice Radjevic. Saving the last sub for later. I'm going to give Bellarmino Seca a little bit more time. Yeah, I mean, we just have we have two guys here. We've got one guy screening my goalkeeper for no reason, and he's just wide open. Good work by Regovic. Very good work by Regovic. Basuma, Seca. All right, we need to we need to come back again. All right, Eves. Radjevic, that's very, very unlikely. <laughs> Sub. Give me Giannis. For Bellarmino Seca, who's not at it today. All right, you guys are... Chilling back in your half. Well, I'll come hang out with you. Is the room, you know, is, there, is the water fine back there? Can I come chill? Is the water all right? Can I come chill out in your half of the field where you guys are hanging out? That seems like a great time. Thought this was supposed to be a title match. You guys want to come play? Come on, dude. They tick off the freaking god tier uh, Brazilian, so. That's a really good ball by Basuma. 
Oh, McIntosh, yes. Constantelius is in behind him here. Giannis! It's George! Well, he already has a goal in this game. It's not like he's mental as freaking out here. What the? Uh, Buddhist Punk, thank you for the 20 months. Um, really appreciate you supporting the stream. George Shikichi with a a small miss there. We'll see how he bounces back from that. Oh, nice tackle, Regevich. Here's George. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Mujay Kaya couldn't get it out in front of that the pack. And that's out. Come on, boys. Come on. We're, we're clearly all over it all of a sudden. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Anasio, Kaya, Constantelius. It's Giannis. corner. Chagichi. Uh, way to battle. That'll be ours. Way to battle. Oh. Yeah, it's tough. I put too much pressure on him in the pregame talk. I didn't handle it well. I put too much pressure on on, on uh, them in the pregame talk. I didn't handle it well. We didn't get good performances out of some key players. Uh, and they've closed the gap to seven. That was their opportunity to really stretch it. I'm going to send uh, him on vacation for a week, as we just talked about. Uh, cause he's apparently, you know, at 29 years old, he might as well be in hospice apparently. So we're going to send him on a vacation. He will miss the loot and match, but dude, that's, that sucks. That sucks. It's just a big missed opportunity to create separation. It's our first loss in the premier league since August. Um, we've been on a really, really tremendous run, obviously with the way things were going, but they have a really talented team. We still dominated for possession and control of the match flow. We just, um, you know, that second goal was silly, obviously, with the, the rebound off the post and everything, but we didn't close down the initial shot well at all. And the first goal, you know, Rico had ended up with a 6.3. He just got beat. He just got beat for positioning in the air. Yeah, whatever. I'm eager to get on to the next match. We've got Luton at home in the FA Cup. Just get me to the next match, dude. Still rather be up seven points in the league than down seven points in the league. It was a big chance to stretch it, but 
I'd rather be up seven. Why don't I have the Manchester United badge? You should ask Manchester United that. Because the people that make the badge packs got to send a bunch of cease and desist letters by Manchester United. Notice how no other club does that. I criticized the refereeing, apparently, by appealing a suspension, whatever. Where are the Bucks logos loud and Madden? No, well, that is because the NFL, you know, is, is a, you know, there's a lot of leagues in FM. There's only, sorry, it's hard to explain how different that is, uh, but Madden has the rights to it where Football Manager just makes the leagues and then people make the graphics packs for it as a hobby. They don't, like, charge for it or anything. They make the graphics packs, and then you can download the graphics packs. They didn't send a cease and desist. To, like, Madden's not just rolling. Like, if Madden did that, they'd just get sued into oblivion. Right? If Madden was just releasing the game with all the logos in it. Football Manager doesn't do that, and then people make the graphics packs as a hobby and release them to everybody. And then the Glazers sent cease and desist letters to the people that are making those graphics packs. Good luck, SM. Can't you just put United's badge? I just really, I just really don't care to go through all of that trouble for a club. I'm just going to beat in the league anyways. You know, I re it really doesn't bother me that much. Wow, Aston Villa actually won the Carabao Cup against uh, Newcastle. So Newcastle did make the final and then actually uh, lost to um, Aston Villa. So the team that bumped us ended up winning the trophy. Where are they in the league? Does that steal a spot? No, they're actually in sixth. So Does not steal a spot for them. Fat enough, lads. Fat enough. Should be a couple of easy matches here. We got Luton. Um, and then Brighton at home in the league to reset the chakras. Jarrell Hato with a tight hamstring. Well, it looks like we're rotating both center back spots for this here match, brother. Weirdly, Abdul Rahim, you're not bad. Scouting the whole Asian Cup, perhaps a little involved. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Allow me to uh, – what's the list? It's the, uh, the not interested list or whatever. I used to know how to remove people from when I uh, accidentally asked them. I just don't care enough to keep looking for it there. These autos, okay. A very decent center back. Way too good to be hanging out in the Japanese league. Shea Geta there. Yeah, there's a good player. Okay. My scouts are almost too good. I'm like, dude, you're hitting me with 50 at a time. Like, do you guys ever take a day off? Now we just added five new guys. To the group as well. It's kind of insane. Do 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 do.
They might be too good at their job. I mean, I think they update my entire. Oh, there's Little Mellow Bad Boy. Has he, has he played this year? Don't be honest with me. You haven't played him one time. You haven't loaned him out either. You're killing my boy here. You are killing my boy, Smalls. They're killing my boy. He's dying. Do I like coffee? I don't. I I mean, I don't really dislike the taste of it. I just don't drink coffee that much. I think I missed the point in life where everybody got super into it. It's like all of a sudden one day in high school, everybody was drinking coffee before they went to school. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I just don't drink coffee. I just got to League 2 and everybody I'm trialing is just garbage. Well, you're League 2. That means you're a professional team, so you definitely can search out some loans that can be really helpful for your team. Uh, you also need to be cultivating, like, a free transfer shortlist. It sounds like you might have one of those already, but if you don't, make sure you set one of those up. Uh, and then what you want to do is start searching for guys that you might have missed on that free transfer shortlist. Guys that have international caps that, you, you know, are on a free that you're not trialing at the moment. Anything like anything like any of that would be perfect. That would be perfect for you in that instance. Do, 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 do. Kusiasare, huh, you beast. Oh, yay, more Champions League. Stad Renee's through. RB Leipzig is through after a 3-0 over Juventus. What was the other one that just buttoned up? Ajax beat Lons 6-3. Atalanta beat Sociedad 2-1. So it's Basel, Milan, Bayer, Leverkusen, City that's going to be settled tomorrow. Nice. How many teams are left in the FA Cup? I think it's just 16. Nice. It is just 16. Could just fire ourselves in the last eight here. I did not have valid grounds for the appeal of Marcelo Enrique's suspension. That is a bold statement, dude. So I consider all ground valid. The me too, don't get to the coffee thing. I mean, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not here to be like, yo, dude, never drink coffee ever. I mean, for a lot of people, it, it, you know, look, it's an art form, clearly, that a lot of people in, enjoy partaking in. But I just never got into it. It's really that simple. I feel like you need somebody to be like, hey, you want to drink some coffee this morning? And then you, like, drink the coffee, and you're like, oh, this is coffee. Never happened. Uh, where's Belchior Canelio? I'm going to get that guy in there with Rejovic, Marcelo Enrique. Which eight Kai is going to play like 75 minutes of each of the next two matches. Constantelius is going to be a playmaker on the wing with Ebicelli coming around him. It's all coming together, except it's not Ebicelli. It's Michael Coyote and then Doeg and then, yeah, you get the idea. It's all that all that nonsense. Okay. Uh, Vandevin's going to be the center back sub. King Kazu Kanda is going to be coming in off the left. Am I disrespecting them too much? Where are they? So first of all, they're not even in the prem. So no, I'm not disrespecting them too much. Luton is sixth in the championship. So this is a massive opportunity to make sure that we completely rotate and have a team that is super fit and ready to go for the next match, which means Gamera should start. So Mujahid Kaya is going to be on the bench. Gamera should start. We're trying to appease him. This should be a great chance to appease him. Endrick, Gera, Shigichi. Yes. McAvoy, Ebisele. Okay. All good. Quarterfinal of the FA Cup. 
Team's ready. Got to bounce back from our, our crippling disappointment that we just suffered. Feels Rico Lewis should have been uh, selected. Yeah, well, we've got another match, okay? We've got another match. Oh, you know, I have faith all of you, all, all of these guys, because they're not going to be out there too much. Where's Mikey Moore? Oh, I have some news for you, dude. We sold that brother. Sold him. Good afternoon, Chisikaru. How you doing? There he goes by Festi Abicelli, but I'm assuming that's the same guy. Yeah, but 120 million for Mikey Moore, then we bought Macintosh for 80 million. We feel very good. Okay. <clears throat> Please rise and remove your caps for the performance of the FA Cup anthem. It's the FA Cup. The FA Cup. The FA Cup. You may be seated. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, FA Cup quarterfinal, Chad. Very excited. Always uh, an emotional time when you hear that song. Uh, sorry, I'm going to move these guys. Oh, yeah, uh, Kazu. Hey, Oday. Somebody's there, surely. Okay. Ah, Belchior Canelio in his debut gets hurt in the 12th minute of play. Sometimes it's just hard to dream it up, you know? All right, Mujahid Kaya, you're coming in. We're going to drop Hector Gamera and just have Mujahid Kaya try and pick up uh, pick up as much match sharpness and confidence as he can get our, uh, our striker that we're hoping is going to be the star that can carry us down the stretch of the season. And he needs that sweet, sweet match sharpness to do it. I'm going to turn this up to attacking. I am not satisfied with the number of highlights we are requiring. Marcelo Enrique, who nearly cost us that game against Southampton. Now, Constantelius. Pretty obvious pass there. Just took too long. There you go. There you go. Kaya. Kaya. This is fine. Okanda. You know, you know what we're saying? Up the lads. Doig have it. Good pass. Good pace on that. Constantelius. Very good pass. The defense is out of position. We're inside the fullback.
I mean, tactically, it looked like it was going to be pretty good. Oh, how did that get through? Oh, how did that? Oh, my goodness. What a pass. Oh, this is brilliant football from Tottenham Hotspur. It is a wonderful delivery from Regevich and first time shot by Constantelius. The game flowing one way. They've popped it back against the grain. And the Greek freak has another goal. Oh, man, he nearly had a butte there. I'll focus possession again. I want us to maintain that possession. I'll stay on attacking until 65th or 70th minute. But yeah, good spot right now. Um, with the rotated team, obviously, we want that full first team to be ready for Brighton at home on the weekend on a nice Saturday afternoon. This guy had a good game yet? Yes. Feels like a distant memory. It was in January before he got hurt and missed uh, about three weeks. So he, ha he hasn't really gotten off the ground. I think he made two appearances before he got that three-week injury. So hopefully, you know, we play him the rest of this match, starts the next match, get that sharpness off the ground. That's on target. We've got it blocked. I'm okay there. Stay active. There we go. There we go. Move that ball. Move that ball. Yes. Radjevic. Oh, there it is. Mujahid Kaya. There's the goal to announce the return of the promised king of this front line. And it is a really impressive strike from Mujahid Kaya. First time with pace. And if they can get him firing, they might just be untouchable. That was exactly what the doctor ordered here. Just a confidence builder, a welcome back to the team goal. <laughs> oh, is he on? Oh, Kaya! He's onside! Two goals in a minute! for the mercurial German madman, Mujahid Kaya. It was sublime. The run, the finish. There's no saving that. He even puts his hand up. Like, he gets open. Watch. He literally, he like puts, I mean, the pass is already on the way, but I love that this is in the game. You see him like calling for it. He's like, dude, I'm on, I'm on, I'm in. It's over. Oh, Regevic, man. 18 passing, 18 vision. That dude's got, he's like a psychic. He feels where the game is going to flow to and just delivers the ball. Conda, oh, I love that. That was, that was pretty. Jenny's Regevich has been an elite player this season to the point that I wouldn't be sad about Javi Guerra having to leave, and that's saying a lot. Like, if Javi Guerra got a Real Madrid offer and he got all upset about it, I'd be like, dude, give me $95 million, and I'd say yes. What a save. Yo, dude. Anybody else, like, first team that we want to No. All these guys are hunting match sharpness anyways, so. I'm okay to kind of let them play this match out. Kaya's got two goals, yeah, but uh, I mean, that pass, Kaya's run and finish were excellent, but Regevich delivered, the, the pass to Constantelius, obviously, in the first goal was amazing as well. Really, really, really nice pass. He's got the taste. He's got the flavor. Ah.
Giannis. Okay, no dice. What is that? KO day. Meeting the ball. Really uncomfortable with the number of highlights or things that kind of look like their highlight that we've conceded. I realize we're kind of sleepwalking here up three goals, but. Yeah, Red Redjevic has ascended to like, I think he's playing like a world-class player. I think he's played like a world-class player from the moment we bought him. He's been really, really good. Rosales, Vyshkovic, KO Day. Oh, Kanda. Kinkazu, no. You have done something wrong, good sir. Oh, that he was there. That is the first time I've ever seen him not make a pass that I saw. He could have tried to slip Kazu through. Sleepwalking is sleepwalking here. You're very good at FM, my guy. I only watch your second channel, though. Which one is that? We've got live, you know, which is the edited versions of the streams. We've got, obviously, the Zealand channel. And then there's Zealandism. But Zealandism is my passion. Oh, no. I wanted to save on clean sheet bonuses, and I am going to give them the respect that seemingly they have earned here by uh, by bringing this in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring the team back, make sure that we do get to the FA Cup quarterfinal, because my goodness, if we played as complacent as all get out, last like 20 minutes. I've got like seven shots. Like, look at the momentum graph after we took a 3 nothing lead. We just checked out of this game. Completely checked out of it. Now that I'm saving on clean sheet bonuses, we can slow things down. Do, do, do. Look, I've been playing FM too long. I know how much you can get screwed in this game. I'm not trying to get screwed in a cup. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice work, everybody. Dominated the first 60 minutes. Got the goals. Excellent performance from Regevich. Constantelius getting on the score sheet. Gamero with another absolute stinker. Guy I brought up from the Youth Academy last year that all of a sudden thinks he's a big deal and deserves all this playing time. Yeah, give me a break. All right, West Brom, Newcastle, Arsenal. Everton just knocked out Liverpool. Chelsea just knocked out United. Villa knocked out Coventry. Okay, so there are some easy draws there. City's out of the Champions League. Leverkusen just knocked them out. Milan won in the 91st minute on a penalty from Charles de Catelaire to knock out Basel. So AC Milan survives to the round of 16, but City is out. Leverkusen has taken their spot. Canelio strained a hamstring. He's out three to four weeks. That is so unfortunate. Such a rare opportunity to play, I gave him. And he has just given it, you know, he's given it up. He made the choice to get hurt. And that's what I find so offensive when these guys make the conscious decision to get hurt. I mean, you know, why would you choose that, right? Why would you choose the injury? Champions League draw should be really soon, though. Vandevin's happy to stay. I uh, Great. I mean, our leadership support atmosphere doing wonderfully. Hector Gamera is happy with his playing time. He better be. I've started him twice. He's given me two 6.4s. He's getting his butt sold in the summer. For sure. I can smell the sale a mile away. <laughs> Necessity, thank you for the eight months, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. If you're not already, you might be. We just haven't met yet in the uh, in the lounge. Classy establishment, the lounge.
What is this? Oh, uh, U18 Premier League. Palms from Andas can play. Cool. Oh, the draws today. Oh, nice. Oh, give me the song, dude. Give me the freaking song. Champions League round of 16. All right, let's take a look at the teams. <coughs> the seeded teams, the teams that got a buy. Arsenal, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Benfica, Inter Milan, Newcastle, Paris Saint-Germain, and Tottenham. The unseeded teams. Boo! The teams that did not finish in the top eight and had to win last round. Ajax, Atalanta, Bayer Leverkusen, Manchester United, AC Milan, RB Leipzig, Real Madrid, and Stad Rene. I would love Ajax, Atalanta, Leverkusen, or Stad Rene. Any of those four. I'm Gucci. All right, let's do it. Leverkusen? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take Leverkusen. Hell yeah, dude. Pop me. The all-German matchup. Leverkusen and Bayern Munich. Revenge tour. All right. Leipzig. That one's kind of lukewarm. That's like right in the middle for me. Let's go ahead and give them uh, PSG. Newcastle's fine. All right, we got them out of there. Um, wait, there's a throw. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is going to get annoying. This might be us, too. There's a three minute orchestra version. There we go. That's the one I want. That's the one I want. Okay. Ajax? Yes. This would be great. Okay, Barcelona's playing Ajax in the round of 16. That's a throwback. Cool. Atlanta's still there. Stad Rene is still there. That's me right there. Stad Rene. You know, I used to manage in the French League. I've got history. The storyline writes itself. Okay. Atlanta it is. That's fine. I'm cool with Atlanta. Honestly, if we're reaching, I'm cool with AC Milan, too. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, beggars can't be choosers here. I'll take that one if you need. If, if you need, I got you. Okay, fine. You know what? It's not Real Madrid or United, so I'm cool with that. <laughs> I am cool with that, chat. That's the one we wanted. We wanted AC Milan. That is certainly not the worst draw we could get. They barely beat Basel. Atlanta's playing Arsenal. United and Real Madrid and Benfica and Inter are the only two teams left. Okay, so it's Real Madrid. They are playing. You know it's Benfica. It's always loaded in their favor. Yeah, there you go. Somehow they're an unseeded team and they get Benfica in the round of 16. Sure. All right. Man United and Inter. That's a very good tie. So very good round outside of Real Madrid and Benfica. Who, you know, whatever. We've got AC Milan. That checks out. You know, that's uh it's good, it's good stuff right there. That checks out. That is like an appropriate level of difficulty, you know? Like that level of difficulty just makes sense. That just makes sense. And we have that match coming up in a hot second. So <sighs> I'm going to try and figure out what rotation we want to have here. Try and get first team through these two matches. And then West Ham away, no dice. And then Milan and then Arsenal. And then Villa away. Yeah, it's about to get, it's going to be a festival here. All right, Champions League. I heard you, Champions League. That's an okay draw, though. How does one join the subsection of the Discord? So you link your Twitch account to your Discord account, basically, is uh, how it works. So when you link your Discord account to your Twitch account, it, like, refreshes, and there's another section in there. You know what I'm saying? Army of Beavers, thank you for the seven months, dude. You are awesome. The only reason I get on Twitch now? Oh, hell yeah. Why does Orlando City stink now? There can only be one good team in Florida, and now Inter Miami is good. So Orlando City is back. 
they got smacked by Inter Miami too. That was that was an ugly game for them. They got they got bodied pretty hard in that uh the old Florida Derby. El Darby del Sol. Are you gonna call Kurt to help your team talk to the AC Milan game? I don't know, man. His for the, his didn't work for the AC Milan game. I don't know if I could trust Kurt's uh, team talks. AC Milan's a real sore subject for him. I think they were the team that knocked Kurt out. If I if I remember right, you know. Rob, thank you for the twenty five months. But Kurt is football. He is. You won't hear me dispute that. Like if football was a house, Kurt would be in the walls. Gio Reyna. Him and I, we we've done we've done many a special thing together, you know. That quarterfinal run with the United States national team. We've done many a special thing together. Do, 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 do. Ivan Alves, hey, that asking price is starting to creep down a little bit, I think, as he stays unsettled. But the lack of uh, favoritism towards big matches, troubling. Certainly troubling. William Diallo. Yeah, it's tough. You don't have the size I like. Oh, Rosario Renai is apparently getting way cheaper. I wonder why. But he used to be at around like 130 million. Now we're looking at a low side of 72 for a guy that is a world-class athlete with excellent dribbling and crossing. We already have one of those guys, though. And he is also English. His name is Macintosh. Rule Britannia! Wait, where did that come from? I have no idea. Dude knows how to make a proper Brexit tackle. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Hurts a diehard Inter fan. Oh, so that hurt. That hurt him even more, losing to AC Milan in that situation. Well, I, you know, I'm really happy that my or American contributions could be so helpful to AC Milan. But you know what? Inter's winning the league. I don't think he'd be too bent out of shape about it. I wonder what Kurt's incredibly reasonable take on the moving balls and the penalty shootout against Atletico Madrid is. I'm sure he has a very sharp and very reasonable take when it comes to that. FA, oh, it's our FA Cup draw, too. Okay, uh, the eight teams left. Man City and South... Well, I guess they haven't played yet. I want West Brom, obviously. That it's Arsenal, Villa, Chelsea, Everton, Newcastle, us, West Brom, and then City or South End, which is got to be guaranteed to be City. Even if that is a replay, oh, please. Yes. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Tottenham Hotspur right there. Boom. Tottenham Hotspur. That's the two teams I wanted. Okay. Uh, no. Newcastle. Arsenal. Newcastle. Villa. Give me Chelsea, dang it. Out of these three, I'll take Chelsea. Yes. Yes. Tottenham. I love it here, dude. Having a great time. Thanks. Little North London Derby in the quarterfinal. Sounds amazing. Sounds so fun. Cannot, I literally can't wait. No, literally and figuratively, just can't even wait. I'm so excited for that North London Derby in the FA Cup quarterfinal. It's going, it, it's going to be amazing. I mean, I, I hope you guys, I hope you guys can make it because wow, what a match, you know? Awesome. Go team, baby. Go team. 
Okay. So who is not Matt Sharp? But sides Fabian Polsterman, Dots, Kilman, Kelleher, McIntosh, and Hado will be fine. Uh, we've got matches all the time now. Who is Young Player of the Month in the English Premier Division? Rajevic, four appearances, two goals, one assist. Well done. Did I not congratulate him? I can congratulate him an infinite number of times, and that will just raise his morale even higher. That's amazing. I'll do that then. <laughs> Blues, thank you for the 12 months. Whew. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. All right, so this is a match. Let's just go out and win, shall we? Brighton's 19th in the league. We really want to pick up the points here. Uh, what is Hanzo coming back from? I don't even remember him picking up an injury of any kind. Okay. Oh, well, Leicester beat La Nottingham Forest. What a, what a big result. West Ham is in the relegation zone. Okay. That, that That's new. An Echo Romo. I'm going to need you today. Um, Indrik, I think you'll be able to play both of these matches. We'll see. Uh, Kazu Kanda, you are playing here. Um, Javi Guerra, you're playing here. Uh, Ebizele is going to get a run at right back. I think that's totally fair. Jarrell Hato, because of that lack of match sharpness, I'm going to play you with Rosales, with Vuskovic as a sub. Uh, Vandevin, you and Doeg are just going to rotate like every match. I like both of you a lot, so don't think that's going to end up mattering much. We are going to have to run Eves Basuma, I think, in both of these matches. We'll just try and get him a rest between them. We'll try and get him a rest between the matches, and he'll be okay. And Gamera is, of course, playing striker, which we are not doing anymore. We are starting Simone Scota. So it's Vicario, Ebisele, Rosales, Hato, Vandevin, Guerra, Basuma, Indrik, Conda, Aneka, Romo, Simone Scota. Where's Bellarmino Seca? He's going to go here. Okay. I want Constant Tellius to be around here. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to get McAvoy for Constantelius so I have that extra option because I feel like we may need it. Okay. We good? Yep. Team's ready. Please tell me we can win this match here. There, spe you guys, you, speaking of Victor Gilkerish, Gilkerish. Well, I actually have no idea how to actually say it. I just kind of make a noise similar to it and hope nobody notices. But Gil Kedis, probably. He's developed all right in this game. Even though Brighton are not in, the, uh, in a great spot, he's developed all right. He's going to be amazing in FM next year, though. What nation is he? Uh, he's from Antarctica. So I don't know how they pronounce like their umlauts over O's, you know? guys come on let's get back into the win column in the league now kazu Kanda's back i like the fact that we're able to utilize him here <laughs> they've lost four of their last five come on yokadish we we can handle yokadish up top now we can handle him
Oh, that's mine. Yes. Simone Skoda, the garbage man! And they should have just scored right after that. I don't, I, why did he go for the chip, dude? He was so in on goal, it wasn't even funny. He was so incredibly in on goal. Like that man, you, 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 you get to just walk that towards the goalkeeper until the goalkeeper makes a move and then you just score. Well handled by Rosales. But why, like, he nearly had the chip, but why even go for it? The point is scoring the goal, you know? Ka oh, Kazu. Well, the pass was there. Kazu's going himself. Playing him in his natural position for the first time, really, I think, ever. We're giving him a nod over Constantelius today. Upon further attribute investigations, Basuma, Konda, an Echo Romo. Oh, my God. Oh, and we whiffed on the counter press, too. Isn't that just glorious? Well, that's my ball. Thank you. An Echo Romo. Kazu Kanda getting all over the place. Vandevin, who's now happy to be here again. How many turnovers are in this highlight exactly? I don't know if I can go through this emotionally. Because that's, it's four now. Endrick. I mean, I can, okay, I can work with it now. I'm okay now. As long as it ends up with a goal for us, I'm okay. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm okay with that. But I, I mean, we could have started that after, you know, two more turnovers in. Festi Ebisele to Endrick just carves the fullback. Classic cut in and score inside forward goal by Endrick. I mean, it's what he does, though. It's what he does. It's what that man does. It's a dangerous man out there. It's a dangerous man out there. Do, 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 do. No, that sucks. What? Vandevin is hurt again. God, you glass cannon of a beautiful man. All right, Coyote, you're playing left back the rest of the day. Come on, dude. We're about to hit sick fixture congestion again. And I'm out of Mickey Van. He times his injuries horribly. We, we've got this whole... You know, I, I just had a week off and everything. You could have gotten hurt then. My favorite thing is when something like um, Victor Jokerish's name, Victor Jokerish, his name comes up, right? Chat can't agree on how to say it either. I think it's just, it's something like Polisic's name. Where I think if you're Swedish and you grew up next door to the kid, you probably said his name one way. If you're Hungarian, you're saying his name the other way, right? Maybe even regionally dependent inside of those countries. And so it is, uh, honestly, you just kind of ask the person how, you say, how they say their name at that point, you know? <laughs> hey, man, how do you say your name? No, I like learning how to pronounce things, but I do think that sometimes <coughs> people can get too particular without knowing, like, how that person wants to say their name, you know? Like, if I'm making a good faith effort and getting really close, then, then, that, then that's what we're going to do. But, like, with very, very tiny inflections when you don't know how that person wants their name said a lot of the time. Like, Pulisic, they'd always ask him. A ton of people say Pulisic anyways. But his last name's Pulisic, just because of the country that he grew up in, you know. 
There's an actual video of him saying it, then boom, that's all you need. Post a link, brother. Yay, Simone. Come on, bro. I want to get Endrick off, but well, we need to score again to do that. That's right. Even though I got, uh, oh, even though I got blocked, I can pull it up. Hold on. I put a lot of trust in that link. That was stupid. My name is Victor Yokeras. So it's not Yokeras, as some of you guys were saying. It's Yokeras. Victor Yokeras. Yokeras. It's pretty simple, actually. Victor Yokeras. Victor Yokeras. And boom, I'll now know it the rest of my life. We have learned something today. LOL, he can't pronounce it in Hungarian. Look, 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 look. Are you looking? Look at me. Look at me. Okay, I want you to and this is somebody I have a very unique perspective something I have a unique perspective on, right? As an American person, right? Names change. All right. Language changes. Right, if, 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 if a person's last name and family name is pronounced the way that they say it should be pronounced and the way that their family agrees that it should be pronounced. It doesn't mean he can't pronounce it in Hungarian. He's no better or worse for the way he says his last name. Right, if you study the, like my last name is Shannon, right? That comes from the Shannon clan, which was under the McDonald clan in the Scottish Highlands. Because my family's done some DNA stuff to track that back as far as that, at least. Right? Now, the Shannon clan was originally, uh, uh, the word Shannon started with an A. But then a bunch of people started mispronouncing. That was a beautiful goal, by the way. A bunch of people started mispronouncing it. Right? It was written like Ashenon. But then it, it, it evolved. Like, if you track the last name on the people, it, it evolved. So... Especially when we, where we live in a world where people have got last names from all over the place and they grow up somewhere else. However they want to say their last name is, is, is right, basically. <laughs> yeah, the cool way to say it would be like, yo, if that dude was Hungarian, it'd be pronounced this way, which would be Jokadesh. Or what, you know, some of you guys were putting in the chat, obviously. But... Like, Christian Pulisic is just a perfect example. If that dude's born and raised in Croatia, his name is Pulisic. But since he's born and raised in the U.S., it's Pulisic. And that's just very American-sounding and what the whole family's name is. <laughs> to be fair, it is their name. Yeah, it's very true. I didn't even, like, see who, like, ended up scoring that goal. I was just enjoying... Yeah, my mom's family changed her last name, too. That happened a lot in the U.S., actually. That sucks. We just got comfortable and just gave it right back. I want to say something about the unique American perspective, but I'll be banned, probably. I mean, I'm going to be honest, based off my experience with the internet, anytime somebody says a sentence like that, they're about to drop one of the most, like, <laughs> just fake edgelord actually just jerk takes of all time. Not that you're necessarily going to do that, but I'm kind of scared now. All right, guys, we might need to make a tactical change here. We're only up one. Oh, get that! Skoda, you freaking lemon.
Yeah, my 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 mom's family, they all changed their last name. Like a hundred years ago or something. So Kazu, we're gonna get him off. We're gonna have uh Yanis Constantelius close the game out. And Echo Romo, we're gonna get him off for old Paul McIntosh. Eves Basuma's in a six point seven. He's been kind of dragging. I'm gonna go Ginny's Rajevich and drop Javi Guerra into that position. Even though he's got the goal, you know, subs uh, necessary. Please make an impact now. Yeah, Kazu wasn't coming into this with full legs, so we knew we were going to sub him off at some point. Just wanted to give him the start, build up the sharpness. All right, play the middle. Good. Gera, Indrik, yes. Konda. Oh, one more classy play before the subs hit. Wow, really took the steam out of that one, didn't you? Hendrick stays on. Yeah, it's a one-goal game, and every point in the league is absolutely massive. So might be using Hendrick as a super sub in the champions. Skoda. Okay, Regevich. Festy, Hendrick. Okay, Abicelli. Nice. Well worked, Regevich. Javi, get oh, my God, dude. I can't, I can't stop you from bombing it from anywhere. Center mid on defend, he's still letting it rip. Come on, just score the third goal. You know you want to. We're getting all these highlights. Good spot for Giannis. McIntosh. Oh, yo, I thought that was in. I'll have it. Giannis. Oh, goes back to Regevich. Nice catch. Oh, Regevich, you absolute beast. I am loving what you're doing, McIntosh. Regevich again. Dang it. But boy, isn't he always in the spot, you know? He's just always in the right spot. Hendrick, come on, let's score. Head it back across. Yes. I think we got a shot off that got blocked in there, and now we've got an excellent set piece thanks to Javi Guerra with the carry. Hendrick. Oh, my goodness, KO day. I think Radjevic could become a saint. I mean, the dude's an absolute animal. So we're in the realm of possibility. Thank you, McIntosh. He, he's one of those guys that just plays so well in the match engine. But his shots haven't been great. What just happened? Did you guys see the ball? So watch what happens after he misses the shot. Watch the ball over here. And back. Oh, good looking pass though, Coyote. I like the thought. Jabril, thank you for the prime. I have a very negative view of American culture and how it appropriates every and like. Wait, hold on. This is actually, this isn't the take I thought it was going to be, so that, uh, we're, we're going to unpack this. Uh, Regevich, 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 boom. As I have a very negative view of American history, especially when it comes to the development of American culture and how it appropriates its every influence. And names history is obviously like a part of that. Okay, I... So the negative opinion comes from the fact, basically, that the United States is newer. I guess is that is that the that that's the idea so that I mean look so history is all built on top of itself like that's the like that's uh delusion thank you for the two years I appreciate you supporting the stream enjoy your lack of ads um but you know history is all built on top of itself like the Romans they, you know they would have been looking at like the Franks Right. And they would have been like, oh, these freaking knockoffs, like the way they're speaking Latin, freaking ridiculous, you know, doesn't even make sense. We can barely understand it. Like, this is crazy. 
You know, like why why are they what what are they the, what are these idiots doing trying to wear togas like we do, right? These stupid people wearing pants like the Gauls, unlike real men that wear togas. Like it's all built on top of itself. It it just evolves over time, and something that is new eventually becomes old, and then the new thing becomes a thing, right? And they, you know, maybe maybe the whole planet is you know globalization's a thing and and all that but maybe it's like all of a sudden people you know 200 years you never know where history is going you got people living on mars and they're developing this new culture and that's the new thing right and they're like well these people on mars think they're as good as the people that are living on earth huh? <laughs> you know <coughs> i just pre it's nothing about old and new i perceive the u.s as the ultimate stage of colonialism what it's like that the u.s is a leech basically I mean, I mean, uh, like, okay, we're, we're going to try and separate a few things here, right? So the U.S. was a colony, right? The U.S. was a few colonies, actually. Um, the U.S. was uh, Spanish colonies and English colonies. What is the modern U.S.? Um, so it is a former colonial nation um, in a very similar vein to Canada where it's a former colonial nation that was operated in a mostly exclusionary way. Whereas like you have former colonial nations, like let's just go with like Ecuador or Peru where they had a more like, this is just, uh, you guys ready to do some Zealand history? All right. Because we're going to win this match, hopefully. Uh, but your Ze yeah, your Zealand history of the day. So the way that Spain particularly did colonialization particularly back in the day, was they had a more mixed society that doesn't necessarily mean it was better, right? There was still, like, rampant racism going on. But they the, the society was way more, like, they integrated the native population, where when I'm talking about, like, exclusionary colonialism, they expelled the native population, right? Like, they, you know, nobody was hanging, despite whatever Thanksgiving was, right? Nope, they, they weren't all hanging out together all the time. All right, and they, they, they didn't integrate into the society even at, like, a bottom tier. They were just on the outside of it, kind of in the woods, in the Appalachian Mountains, and, the, you know, the, the, particularly on the English side, they came in. So the, um, like, that is off to one side. I just want to, like, that's over there because that's one topic that this person brought up, right, that Echo brought up. All right, the other thing is that, uh, hold on, I need to go back and read the message. Uh, the U.S. is the ultimate stage of colonialism. So uh, that the idea is that, like the U.S. is the ultimate evolved colony. I mean, like respectfully, the United States has kind of been on its own for, you know, I would say like 250 years and has developed its its kind of own way of doing things. A lot of which, you know, can be bad as well as good. Uh, you'd be hard pressed to find a country that doesn't have a lot of nastiness in its history somewhere, and the U.S. has got plenty of that going on. But I, I mean, the U.S. is a country made up of a bunch of people uh, that came here, right? And I don't know, like we're here. I don't. I don't. I don't. I. I, I really. I. I feel like I need to read the message again. The U.S. is the ultimate stage of colonialism. No, I think we're ju we're just a country, really. I mean, colonialism shaped the world that we live in today, no doubt. I don't think the U.S. is like some sort of ultimate stage of colonialism. I mean, we're just a country. And, the, you know, the vast majority of people that live in the U.S. when it comes to culture and all the stuff you were talking about are just the same as anybody else in the world. You know, we're just trying to eat, sleep, hang out with our friends, like, you know, get on with our life. I mean, am I, am I, am I, I'm reading that right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, wrote, they wrote colonialism. No, the, the, what they're talking about was that the, 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 what we are talking about is that they hate the U S culture because they feel like it's appropriated everything. And that that's what they were talking about. 
So being, for a lot of you guys, kind of the token American, I was, I was down to talk about it. Uh, Yeah, but I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't see how. I mean, the U.S. is one of the largest countries in the world. It has, you know, it exerts one of the largest influences in the world, for better or worse, right? Um, often for both. And so, like, obviously, I can't just say like the U.S. is well, just another country, but it is in a lot of ways. Like, the U.S. is not some sort of natural extension of of colonialism. It's just trying to make the best out of, you know. We're speaking from personal experience. I'm just trying to make the best out of being here. And as somebody that travels a lot, I think the U S has a distinct culture and I get homesick if I am abroad for too long and I miss, you know, there is, there is a cultural difference, right? It is not like I go to Italy and I'm like, Oh my God, New Jersey, you know, like that, 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 that you know, it is different. It, it, and that sort of thing develops over time and it is developed in the U S as well. So I yeah I I think that to say the U.S. is some sort of like final stage of colonialism is is insane. I mean it might be a reference to Native Americans, which everything that happened to Native Americans was horrible. Obviously, uh, the world was a very different place for a lot of the time that was going on, and had some very different views on a lot of stuff. Um, you know, I think New Zealand handled that probably the best out of any country that evolved the way that the U.S. did. Uh, but they got a much later start on it as well. Yeah, there are huge cultural differences inside the U.S. as well. There are massive cultural differences inside the U.S. Go to Portland, Oregon and go to the Mississippi Delta and tell me those are in the same country. They don't look like it. That's for sure. But yeah, I, I, I think I, I think that's almost I, I never want to tell anybody they're overthinking it, but I think it's almost overthinking it to be like, I hate US culture because it's just appropriating off everything and it's like this natural extension of of colonialism. Uh, I could also be wrong. I'm just a dude. I don't know if New Zealand did. No, you guys did better. I mean, Native Americans make up less than 1% of the population of the U.S. because of wars, forced famine, and migration. Like, it's a really dour part of history if you ever read into it. Like, the U.S. still doesn't do great stuff towards Native Americans a lot of times. They kind of, they still kind of keep to themselves. Uh, and I don't blame them at all. So yeah, New Zealand is, I got been to New Zealand and I grew up in the United States. You got a lot more right than, than we did when it came to that era of like human history. And I think everybody wishes they could go back and change different parts about history, but you can't, right? All you can do is try and learn from it, make the best out of what you got going Yeah, but I, 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 but I think something that is always fun about the U.S. is that people often have very strong opinions about the U.S. That, you know, it, it is not a country like Luxembourg where people don't really have an opinion either way, which is not a bad thing, right? Uh, but the U.S., people are going to have an opinion about the U.S. But the vast majority of the people you have, like in the U.S. are the same as people you'd meet anywhere else. They're just normal people. Luxembourg touches too many other countries. Dang it. Ah! Agreed, dude. 100%. That's why that's my beef with Luxembourg. How'd they manage to wedge themselves in there? Yo, Bellarmino Seca has 20 vision now, by the way. It's because it's such a loud country. Yeah, U.S. culture is pretty dominant. I can imagine that'd be pretty annoying. I do find it fascinating when I'm in Europe how prominent U.S. news can be. Like, on the local TV, I'm like, why is this U.S.? Like, why are they? Yeah. That is weird to me, too. Seca Al-Gaib, no, dude. 
But Echo, I hope that was at least like a helpful tangent for me to go on. I don't know, like, I don't, you know, hopefully it was at least more informative, Echo. Because I, you know, I, I try not to hate on any culture. It's usually like a good rule to live by. Nobody thinks there's a bad guy. Countries and people in those countries act the way they do, and they they at least believe they have good reasons to do so. Tell us the future, Bellarmino. Oh, he is so good, man. I can't. How much do we? Every time I see that we signed him for fourteen point seven five million, it makes me happy. I didn't even make the signing. And it makes me happy. That dude's worth three hundred million. Like it would take three hundred million for me to sell him. I would sell him for three hundred million, though. I would. It's extremely self-centered. I watch you were U.S. World News, and they just start with uh, themselves. Ah, uh, yeah. The U.S. is not a worldly country, which is ironic considering the diverse heritage of the country itself. Not a worldly country at all. And that's because of basic geography, you know? If you grow up in Portugal, right, you can drive an hour and end up in an area that is completely different historically, culturally, linguistically. Or if you grow up in Florida, you have to drive an hour and a half just to get to, like where I grew up, an hour and a half to get to Disney World, all right? And yeah, sure, if you drive really far, you know, like 13 hours, you'll get to Texas, and it's going to feel a little different, but it's still the U.S. Everything's still the U.S. If I wanted to drive from my front door that I grew up at to get to another country in a car, it would take about 18 hours. It would take about 18 hours. That would be Mexico, and I'd have to go through the southern half of Texas to get there. Not really relevant. It's actually incredibly relevant. Uh, I think it. I. I. I'll, I. I'll be honest with you, dude. I. I think. I think. I think that is very, very relevant. Uh, I seek out traveling. I. I've traveled my whole life. Very fortunate to grow up in a family that loved traveling. Um, but like, I think it's super relevant because most people live in live in a reality where that's not possible or you know they don't have uh they're not fortunate enough to have parents that are like yo go see the world right so if you live in london and you can take a train to paris in two hours then you're just more worldly like you have a greater connection to the world right you have a greater connect you, you just have a much greater understanding that there's something outside of now if you grow up in nebraska dude like it, I, I know it, it, it. Like if you've never been to these areas, it's always harder to imagine. But that's why I try, as, as your token American friend, right? I try to help. I uh, and and if you grow up in Nebraska in a small farm town, the world feels so far away because it literally is. And so the reason that the U.S. is, you know, is somebody said like so self centered not worldly, like you see those TikTok videos where people don't know where things are on a map. That's because the vast majority of people in the United States will never leave it, ever. Not once in their life. And if they do, it might be a cruise to the Bahamas, right? Like maybe a cruise to the Bahamas where you're literally just like stopping at Atlantis, the resort, for like a day. So, you know, I like... That that's why the U.S. is the way it is. Like thing, thing things happen for a reason. Yeah, you just don't understand. So like, let me let me. Uh, we'll we'll do one more thing, and then I uh, okay. Sh uh, what's the website called? Because this always blows somebody's mind. For the true size of. All right, you ready? So we're gonna take the United States, right, and we're gonna put it on Europe. So this is a map of the U.S. So if we put Seattle, Washington in Dublin, I grew up in, what is that? Is that Azerbaijan? I think that's Azerbaijan. And then Texas is in Greece. Minnesota's in Estonia. Uh, Maine is in the Ural Mountains. So, I mean, like, it's... And then there's, like, nowhere to go, right? There's Canada, which is the U.S. with maple syrup and politeness. 
and then there's Mexico, right? And if you get on a boat, you couldn't go to Cuba, but you can go to some of the other Caribbean islands, right? Which have great food and culture, but you know, we're all in our, our bubble here, right? The U, but the U S is very, very large. Like if we put, um, like if we put Florida in Portugal, we actually we're going across the Atlantic Ocean here. Let's say like, oh, dude, check it out. It's freaking wild. Uh, let's put like Florida's in Kazakhstan. And then, you know, Seattle's literally above Ireland somewhere like. Starts. So yeah, I don't think we can get Alaska, though. I think. Oh, we can. Yeah, let's grab Alaska, toss it in here. Alaska's only got 750,000 people and they all live like right here up to here and then nobody lives in the rest of it. So Alaska doesn't really matter. But the U.S. is massive. And most people that live in the U.S. will never leave it. And then the vast majority of people that do leave it, it's a cruise to the Bahamas or like Cuba and Jamaica. And that's it. Uh, Alaska is almost the size of Eastern Europe. Beautiful area, by the way. If you ever have, I've been to Alaska one time. Unbelievable, breathtaking. The entirety of the Bahamas is four hundred thousand people. It's actually a lot when you see how much like land is there. Um, the Bahamas actually has a it, Bahamas has more people than Iceland, <laughs> right? But that's it for today. Uh, I unfortunately I like I have a broadcast that I have to do in an hour. And so we actually have to wrap the stream up early, but we're streaming tomorrow. We are streaming tomorrow. I know we don't normally stream on Wednesdays. We are streaming tomorrow. Big ups to Virginia. We are winning tonight. Huge game for the Virginia Cavaliers uh, against Colorado State. Tipping off March Madness in the play-in round. It's going to be awesome. Exclamation point March. Be sure to fill out your bracket. You got a chance to win some of the some free Zealand merch, right? Why well, usually not Wednesdays? That's usually a recording day for me. Um, streaming is really fun. I actually, streaming is like my favorite part of the whole gig. Recording videos always feels like more work, but if I stream all the time, then I don't have enough time to make shorts, do Zealandisms, do, vi you know, like I, so streaming is, uh, I limit myself usually, but because I'm not streaming on Thursday, we're streaming tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow. We are going to raid somebody though. So stick around for that. You know, make somebody's day right quick. Square up. Square up. Now, we got some good results. We're building up to a pretty dramatic conclusion to this season. We've got Champions League to kick off the stream tomorrow against AC Milan, which is going to be spicy. It'll be freaking awesome. And I hope that was like a fun conversation to have. I don't, I don't know. I am just a dude sitting here talking. But I, you know, I did grow up in Florida, so I like mainlined the, you know, I mainline the U.S. for my whole life. But I appreciate being able to have conversations about that stuff. I can't dispel the Florida man myth for you, though. That one, that one holds strong. There is no dispelling the Florida man myth. Already done? Yeah, I know, Principal Agent. I, um, I am. Um, uh, I've got a broadcast. For some reason... Right, because I still do play-by-play -play as a hobby. For some reason, they decided to hold a softball game at 4 p.m. on a Tuesday. Right, so I have to. I, I'm gonna go call a softball game at 4 p.m. I when they said the game was on the Tuesday, I thought it was like six or seven, so we wouldn't be able to do like a normal stream, and then I just go right into the broadcast. But I have to. It's at four, so I gotta go. We gotta start getting ready. Anywhere to watch? Yeah, I mean it's on Watch ESPN. It's uh. It's uh, softball Virginia against Rutgers. Um, pretty low key game. Should be should be fun though. Virginia's got a good team this year. All right, enjoy the raid. You got the copy boss to go, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a great day. Love you guys. Thank you for all the subs. Uh, Fabric, thank you for the eight months. Delusion, Jabril, Blues, Rob Rocks. Thank you everybody that supports the stream. And uh, hopefully we can freaking beat AC Milan tomorrow. At least we didn't get the worst draw. Wahoo!
All right, word of the day. Allege. Allege. A-L-L-E-G-E. To allege something is to assert it without proof or before proving it. Consumer advocates allege that the company knew about the faulty switches but sold the product anyway. How dare the company? Oh. See you at the end of another stream for another word of the day.